the app that we built for the National Museum of Computing uses generative AI to make education accessible to everyone. Our museum wanted to become one of the most accessible museums in the world, but we realised that we were getting a lot of overseas visitors. Sometimes their first language wasn't English. The goal was uh, why don't we build an app that will help kids uh, with different background languages um, to appreciate the content, hopefully in a funny way. We effectively now have a museum guide that is digital, so it makes it very accessible. Um, it takes you through the museum and helps you understand why this collection, of this museum is here and helps you understand it in your own way. If you were six, you're 11, or you're a sort of expert in technology and computing. When uh, a visitor enters the museum, the, there is a QR code they can scan and the app will load uh, on their mobile. And uh, then they need to select a persona, the, the, the avatar that is closer to them and their preferred language. And then the app kick, uh, kicks off. And depending on when they are in the museum, they can select from the map the right room and within it they can select the items they want to know uh, about. I think the app is truly remarkable. We are enabling a whole new audience to access the history of computing. We can provide differentiated learning experiences for every young person who comes through the door. I have to say it's probably one of the best things that's come to this museum. Um, been here 10 years and we've never had something so advanced with such a cool team of people that have pulled it together so quickly. I enjoyed using the app going through the different parts of the exhibit because as I went into each room I could hit on the interactive map and it would pop me up information about what was going on in that room, a little video that would tell me it, it, in quite a neat way because it kind of had the character from history so it kind of told me like th what I was looking at and what I could do in that place. I would recommend it because it helps you find your way around and also gives you information on the museum itself. It would be really useful to use that app in other museums. Yeah. It would be easier for little uh, kids so yeah. that they don't have to read it and can listen to it instead. Yeah. Vashwan was very uh, excited uh, from this opportunity because this is a um, use case where we can uh, showcase our expertise with both generative AI and many of the uh, apps and proof of concept that we have implemented in sustainable AI as well. We are moving towards a digital future and in order to prepare young people for that future, we need to give them the skills they're going to need to succeed and this is an opportunity for them to access those. This app is all about accessibility, uh, so many of our customers want to make their uh, content more accessible to everybody and this is a way for doing that. This is just the start having this application, which is obviously been tested for the first time with customers, is mind blowing. And I'm really excited to see the feedback we get from them and how we can just make it bigger and better.